Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody had a good weekend. We're back at it, okay? We're talking Cowboys, and we're talking news of the day. The offensive line, okay? We're talking the offensive line here. Um, this news kind of broke last night, but now it's time to talk about it, all right? So mainly we're talking about here Clarence uh, Hill. He broke this news last night. Let's take a look at this. He's saying, Lyle Collins said he has been focused on right tackle and off-season workouts. Boom, okay? That is boom. That is something uh, revealing. Uh, I think this means this is a death blow to Chaz Green, all right? I mean, they brought in Byron Bell, and we thought that was going to be the matchup there. And now, this news here that, you know, uh, Lyle Collins is working out over here at right tackle. That's it for Green, man. Uh, this guy looks like he's on the career arc of Jacob Rogers. You remember that guy? Not good. Just isn't good at all. Now, will he get the chance to compete at left guard with Jonathan Cooper? That's a possibility, but I'm not sure, man. It might be Bell versus Cooper. It might, it might just be a battle royale there for who's going to be a left guard. I, I think they've made this decision already. I think these moves that they made in the offseason, plus not picking up a guy here in the draft, they already had this plan, all right? And um, the fact that he's been, they told him to get working here at right tackle, that's all we need to know, right? So the camp battle will be a left guard, all right? It looks like Leo Collins is going to be there at the right tackle. Um, and you know, here's a picture here of the uh, these guys here. This was a couple of weeks ago. You know, seems a little innocuous at the at the time. You know, we got um, Rico Gathers over there on the left there, Tyron Smith and Jonathan Cooper right there, Travis Frederick, and I'm assuming Zach Martin is there. And then there at the right tackle, you can see him right there. That's Lyle Collins. All right, so he's over there. He's gonna get going, man. This guy's gonna be something for us, okay? This guy, to me, I think he'll do good things at the right tackle. I mean, um, look at this other picture here. This dude is ripped, man. This guy's big. This guy, he reminds me of, of Eric Williams. I always thought he would be a better uh, right tackle. But I thought he could do it good there. I mean, he's done a good job, adequate job there at left guard. You know, he's a mauler. You know, he likes to get dirty in the trenches. And that's what we need. We need this kind of swagger, mauler type guy. Put him there at right tackle. JPP and all these guys, get prepared to get dominated out of your mind, okay? That, I love this news, okay? This, this is just one good news after another. I love it, all right? I mean, look at this. This guy's ripped, man. Big dude. Talking to Larry. He told me I gotta make him quit every play. Jeez, man, that that is something there, okay? So look at this slide here, okay? So right here, this is a pro football focus, the projection here. Right guard, Leo Collins, Zach, Frederick, Cooper there, and of course Tyron Smith. So I think the Cowboys hope is that uh Jonathan Cooper in the offensive line room can get his game elevated. He was a free agent. Nothing came of it. He came back to the Cowboys. One year deal, $1 million. Um, he is one of the smaller guys of the group, though. He's 6'2", 302. The other guys here, they have a little bit more beef to them, all right? These guys are hefty guys, powerful, athletic guys. So, uh... This, this will be interesting, okay? So Larry was 6'3", 320, all right? And then um, Green, he's 6'5", 318. So would they put him there? A left guard? We have to see what happens, all right? But uh, it looks like the competition is going to be there at left guard. Cooper versus Bell versus Chaz. Maybe they keep Chaz as a swing guy here. Maybe Dan Skipper comes out and outplays him. All right, so uh, I, I don't know, man. I think Green's position, it's up in the air right now. It really is. I mean, all these moves, there's no guarantee he's going to make the team here. Third round guy, like I said, career arc is kind of mimicking Jacob Rogers. Potential, a few starts here and there. Injuries derailed the crap out of his career. 
Um, it's not looking good for Chaz Green, but we'll see what happens. There's still a lot here to go. Still got to get through camp and all that kind of thing, but uh, let me know what you guys think. How do you think this is going to play out? Do you like the idea of Lyle Collins out there at right tackle? And what do you think of Chaz Green and the competition there at left guard? Is Chaz Green a lost cause or, or how do you feel about that? Okay, but that's it guys. I really appreciate all of you and uh, we'll see you here for the next video. Thanks guys.